Today we're going to be talking about one of the tracking plugins that I use for my videos. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Datsu. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we are going to be talking about one of the tracking plugins that I use for Final Cut Pro. It is from Pixel Film Studios. It is called Final Cut Pro X Stabilizer, actually Stabilizer 2.0. I use this plugin to help stabilize some footage that I shot if it is very like shaky, because I do shoot handheld. So sometimes if I need something that's super stable or I need to stabilize something that I maybe dipped down a little bit too much or I shook a lot in filming the actual clip, then I'll use Final Cut Pro um, Stabilizer from Pixel Film Studio. Again, you don't really wanna use this too much just because it, it is a big load on your computer. I would suggest using that keyframe method I showed you in the last week's video with keyframes and how you could actually use it for reframing to kind of fake the stabilization and kind of make it, keep it in frame a little bit better rather than having it wobble and you see everything because you can use stabilize but sometimes it does have a bit of a wobble and if you don't want that wobble you can try the stabilizer method but again it will cause some performance issues with um, Final Cut Pro and you can either do the keyframe method stabilize method that's already built into Final Cut Pro or the Pixel Film Studio method of stabilizing all of them do the same thing, but some a little bit better than others, depends on the clip, depends on how it's shot, stuff like that. So I will show you how it actually works um, when I do use this for a clip. So we are gonna use the same clip from last week. So this one's gonna be a little bit different just because you need to find a point to kind of stabilize, if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like, it's called Pixel Film Studio FCPX Stabilizer and I'm not using the 4K one just to, for demonstration purposes. Uh, when you apply it to your clip, it will pop up on your effects. You go to track editor and it will pop up another additional um, window. Let's see if I could drag it over. Here it is. Okay, so we will try and stabilize or try to keep it on. Let's try to keep it on him, on the groom's face. Uh, we will go with position only track quality 100 and again you can go to the very beginning of the clip keep it there um, amount try to see as high as we can and then see what happens when we try to track it forward again you will probably hear my laptop um, just start to go off on the fan um, that is one of the issues I have told you uh, I have said that when you are using a tracking plugins and stuff like that it, it is pretty heavy on your computer I think it might actually do a pretty good job we'll see though because sometimes this can be a little faulty in terms of getting the actual tracking to go but I think we're pretty solid uh, we'll see once the the bride's face covers the groom's face and see what happens huh okay it actually did a pretty good job I really wasn't expecting that <laughs> and Pixel Film Studio does have a bunch of other plugins that you could use. They have like, you could track titles, track objects, um, stuff like that. So depending on what videos you create, you could definitely utilize their plugins. I only use their um, stabilizer one. Oh, here we go. Anal an analysis failed. Can't freaking pronounce words today. Well, we'll see. Um, we only needed just like a few seconds of it so probably just the beginning and we will see what happens when exports out i would definitely find this super useful if you do shoot with a monopod and you say that you don't have enough time to switch from a monopod to a tripod for the ceremony then i would definitely use um some of this tracking feature on some of those clips that you have to use for the ceremony but outside of that um again that's one of the only other plugins i use besides color finale and neat video but we'll get into neat video later on and you will see um it does some mirroring to kind of fill in the the gaps when it is tracking so i mean we could easily avoid that or get rid of that just by zooming in a little bit but we will see how it looks when we play it back i mean it's not bad i'll probably do it up to here and then if you want to adjust it so that you don't see that little mirroring going on all you gotta do is offset scale after it loads, 
again, loading up the computer a whole bunch. Um, offset the position too, because, I mean, I don't want them. Maybe like right there would be good. Then we'll mess with the Y axis. I think that should be solid right there. Let's see what happens when you play it though. After we let it render out. It's rendered out. Let's see. Okay, so there is a part of there that is like coming in. Let's see how much more we could offset the scale. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Well, not bad, not bad. I want to kind of center them a little bit more, so I will adjust the X offset just a little bit. Probably have them centered like right there. Probably have him centered right there. Um, and then see what will happen when we play this back. I mean, it's super solid, like especially if you're only going to be using like a few seconds. But again, this is if you really need to stabilize something and to clean it up a little bit. But there will be that occasional little wobble. If you're okay with using that, you definitely can. Um, again, it's up to you and how you want your films to be portrayed. I'm okay with a little bit of shake. I mean, for me, I find it to be a little bit more organic in the filming of it instead of everything being super robotic on a gimbal. I mean, it does look cleaner, but I kind of want to give it more of a natural feel. And, and that's just my personal preference when I create films. Um, that's just a little bit of a look into one of the plugins that I use. I don't really use it that often, but when I do need it, it, it can come in clutch a lot of the time. So, I mean, just take it with a grain of salt. If you do want to go ahead and download this plugin, uh, link in the description down below. Outside of that, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below and I'll be sure to try to answer them. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like the video if you like it, share if you're into that, consider subscribing if you're not already, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. As always, follow me on all the social medias at Aaron Tattoo Films, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.